I've believed in God from childhood. Rarely discuss this experience. God gave me the best gift, this experience. I felt like I left my body and entered another world. Since I was conscious of my existence, this was neither a dream or delusion. I felt close to God and saw His limitless love. Twenty years after my near-death experience, I experienced Judgment Day scenes. I've had asthma since childhood. My mother died of cancer when I was eleven. The news shocked and saddened me. After my mother's death, I felt lost and helpless. One night during that trying time, something amazing happened. I noticed a peculiar phenomenon in bed and eventually became paralyzed. I was terrified by this. Despite my efforts, my body felt out of control. I was unable to speak. My asthma symptoms appeared when I had trouble breathing. It felt like an invisible pressure on my chest. My body felt uncontrollable, and my breathing was limited. My soul left my body, and my pain disappeared. My eyes saw a swirling tube. This tunnel was lengthy. Many little balls of light surrounded me when I entered the tunnel. These luminous balls that resembled souls intrigued me. A beautiful glow emanated from these light spheres as they passed me fast, as if each knew its destination. I felt less alone because I had a personal connection to these balls of light. As I looked forward, a brilliant light flashed. This light was warm. I saw a gigantic square edifice and numerous people going by swiftly, all heading toward it. I knew our destination. I was pulled forward by gravity. As I entered the light, I saw a meadow full of vibrant flowers with delightful scents. The building was bright, and I saw no shadows. Everything was dazzling, like light could pierce everything. Every detail of this stunning sight captivated me. I knew I had arrived in a pure world, our soul's home, where there was no sorrow or concern, only everlasting love and happiness. Freed and regenerated, my soul joined this magnificent existence. Curiously, I approached the square building. It appeared suspended in midair and enigmatic. As I approached it, I was amazed to see many enormous jewels at its base. These big multicolored jewels shined brightly. I have never seen such a beautiful combination of stones. A great golden wall appeared over the gems when I gazed up. I felt safe inside this wall as if no bad could get in. The finest love was everywhere. Three far wall doors were there. One of the doors felt like pearls as I approached it. Its magnificence could hardly be expressed, as it shined softly like polished marble. As thick as glass, the floor in front of the door blocked my view of its interior. I knew this was home. This moment made me feel at home. I knew that once I entered, I would return to my true home and my loved ones. I knew Jesus was behind the gate from where I stood. I could feel his presence without seeing or hearing him. The mix of feelings in my heart made me cry since I wasn't ready. I didn't want to leave my dad and sister just yet. This notion devastated my heart. Once I entered that door, I knew I couldn't go back to my father. A brilliant angel arrived before me. I felt completely calm in her presence. Her beauty is indescribable. Angel softly informed me I couldn't stay here. She told me I had a task to perform and should not go. I returned to my body when the angel left. I could breathe normally again, and my asthma symptoms were gone. Jesus gave me another chance to go. I used to get scary end-of-the-world dreams. Why I was shown these was beyond me. An odd event transformed my life at 31. I felt a warm hand enter my chest via my rib cage while resting in bed. Touch had otherworldly power. It felt like the hand was strengthening and warming my heart. My heart slowly stopped beating then. Time seemed to freeze and my body feelings faded while my consciousness sharpened. I realized I was being pulled out of my body and my soul was entering a new place. I felt lighter and freer since the process was quick and calm. Around me got bright and clear. My previous house in a remote rural location was my next stop. Never before had I seen a hilltop sidewalk and road. I spotted my father coming slowly down the sidewalk in regular clothing. I hadn't seen him recently. After a short stroll, he stopped, found a chair, and sat. That moment a loud boom occurred. I looked up and saw the sky dimming. Lightning lit up the sky and thunder made me panic. Sky seemed to roar. An unfolding scroll-sized crack appeared in the sky.
The crack grew fast in all directions, and powerful dazzling light blazed on earth at that opening. I saw a man at the light and knew who it was. I said at my father, Jesus is coming. Today is judgment. I shouted loudly, but the wind blocked my voice from reaching my father. I saw my father sitting in a roadside chair, obviously deep in concentration and unaware of the world around him. I got restless, intending to alert him to Jesus' arrival and judgment day. Many individuals ran and hid in panic, clutching belongings in the chaos. I looked up again and saw the dead souls drifting above, attracted by an invisible force. Some invisible hand pulled me up to the sky. Instantly, I was with Jesus. He wore a bright white robe and dark brown hair. He exuded purity and force. Jesus had a hole in his palm that looked like an eternal mark. One of Jesus' foot was partially visible, while the other was shrouded by the garment. I knew the buried foot had trauma too. I recognized Mary to Jesus' left. With her long hair shawled, she wore a gorgeous blue robe. I saw others brought in around him. Jesus could see into everyone's heart and thoughts. The scales of righteousness weighed each person's goodness and sinfulness. Some came before Jesus repentant and humble, confessing their sins and seeking God's pardon. Their sins were pardoned, and they followed the light. Fearful people felt remorse and regret. They were condemned and sentenced to eternal torture and separation for their transgressions. I saw my deceased mother here. She appeared younger and prettier than when she died. We sang while I stood next to her. An intense force pushed me away from my mother. The scene blurred as I was brought back into my body. I realized I was back to reality. My eyes opened to see me in bed. Slowly, my heartbeat normalized. Though it looked like a dream, this Judgment Day event gave me clarity. I reflected on my childhood with my mother in bed. Even though I couldn't see her, I knew we still had a connection. This encounter enriched my life and death understanding. It reminded me to value family. It also spurred me to do well and fairness, knowing God will judge us on Judgment Day. Now I'm more determined to live. Judgment Day scenes will inspire me through hardships and joys. I will seek a deeper meaning of life and become a nice person. I got up and went to the window. The warm, bright sunlight on my face seemed like God's benediction.